Typhoon Kinta has ravaged several provinces after making landfall five times overnight. It first hit Albay province where thousands of residents were evacuated or left stranded. Marlene Alcaide has the report. Strong winds almost blew away the umbrellas of those crossing the streets of Legazpi, Albay. Even an hour before Quinta hit the landmass, typhoon force winds were already felt in the city. Quinta intensified further after making its first landfall over San Miguel Island in Tabaco City on Sunday evening. In less than an hour, the typhoon made its second landfall over the municipality of Malinao, still in Albay. People in their vehicles were forced to stop along the road due to the strong winds. While thousands have been transferred during preemptive evacuations, there are still some who were stuck at their homes during the onslaught. In Barangay Ilawod, East Guevara alone, five residents including a two-month-old baby and a 70-year-old senior citizen were rescued. On Monday morning, a number of houses were left inundated with flood water brought by Typhoon Quinta. Residents were seen drinking coffee along the streets while waiting for the flood to subside inside their homes. Some of them said they did not expect the typhoon to trigger this much flooding. Tapos ngayon, nalatan ninyo kami, medyo umaapaw pa din sa baha. Typhoon Quinta also did not spare business establishments in Albay like this hotel. A minor landslide also reportedly took place along the Manito Legaspi Road. Meanwhile, some workers who were stranded at their workplace braved the knee-deep flood earlier today. Doon na rin kami nagpalipas ng bagyo kasi di na rin makalabas, sobrang laksa ng hangin kagabi. Baha pa po. Displaced residents have also started to troop back to their homes while the local government assesses the damage of Quinta. Albay Governor Al Francis Bichara said the damage is estimated to be the biggest on the agricultural sector. Dapat uh, ani, uh, ani nila yung alay by November. Eh. And, uh, yun, ng bagyo. Uh, minor lang naman yung mga sa infrastructure. Classes and work across the province have been suspended on Monday to allow residents to repair their damaged houses. For News 5, Marlene Alcaide, We Are One News. Typhoon Quinta has also brought heavy rains and strong winds in other provinces. The NDRRMC says there have been zero casualties reported so far. In Lipa, Batangas, electricity across the city was cut off earlier today while a creek in Barangay Balintawak reportedly overflowed due to non-stop rains. Flood water also inundated parts of Laguna as the river in Barangay Bayete and Liliu continues to rise. Evacuation efforts in the province are ongoing. Over in Manila, piles of garbage were seen at the white sand area of Manila Bay. Workers are now cleaning up the debris washed ashore by the strong winds brought by Quinta. Meanwhile, the trough of Pepito and a frontal system continue to bring heavy rains in Cagayan. Some rice fields now look like a vast sea, destroying most of the planted crops.